Hello world, it's your boy Uncle L. Another video blog. I'll let you know what's buzzing in the streets and let you know what's hot. And right now, the the fool of 2010 has to be Gilbert Arenas. Now, <laughs> A aka Agent Zero. Now Gilbert Arenas is known for his uh you know making fun of people. He's very goofy. Um he said he never gets mad, you know, he likes to he's a practical joke that Practical Joker, as they will call him, but now his practical jokes has his his butt joking from the bank. Now, uh, su supposedly and allegedly, because none of this is confirmed, him and his teammate Javar's Crittenden um, had a twenty-five thousand dollar bet that Gilbert lost. So a confrontation came into the locker room about this twenty-five thousand dollars. So it was a heated discussion. Apparently, guns were drawn. Now, Gilbert Arenas, a.k.a. Agent Zero, said that he didn't know it was illegal to have uh, guns in D.C. So he had brought his guns to the locker room because he said he had a small child at home and he didn't want to endanger the child. So he brought all four, four of his guns to the locker room. What job can you bring your damn guns to work, Gilbert Arenas? A.K.A. Fool Boy. Are you serious? BBM sarcastic face. Come on, Gilbert Arena. Stop acting like you stupid. So anyway, they supposed to pull the guns on each other. In the locker room. So, after this came to light, Gilbert Arena was going, doing interviews at the post games. You know, when asked about it, you know, he was laughing. You know, saying David Stern is a... Pretty mean guy. I don't, I don't know what to happen. Yo, firearms carry uh, no less than five years per firearm. So five times four, so my math is 20. All right. So on January 6th, which happens to be this idiot's birthday, David Stern suspended him from the league indefinitely. Now, Gilbert Arenas uh, was under a six-year, $110 million contract. So, you know, estimation, he makes about $197,000 a game. So being that he's uh, suspended indefinitely means he can't play. And David Stern said he was going to do it without pay. Why would you do that? Why, why would you, first of all, make light of a very serious situation? And secondly, why would you bring your guns to work again? Fool! Dumb! This is stupid. And now, uh, as of yesterday, January 15th, he uh, plea bargained and took a one uh, felony count of gun possession, which, in the worst case scenario, uh, the prosecutors could, know, could, uh, could make him serve no more than six months in jail. But what his, what his lawyer hopes to do is avoid all jail time so he can continue playing the league. Now, uh, there's a rule in the NBA saying that it, once somebody uh, um, admits to a felony that they can uh, null avoid the contract. And the important thing is, for this is that uh, Gilbert Arenas doesn't want any jail time so that he can come back and get traded and still be able to play in the league. I don't think he understands the ramifications of his stupid actions because now um, it's in the hands of... Well, first of all, uh, he went to court yesterday and admitted that. And if he wasn't going to get any jail time, they would have sentenced him yesterday just probation. But now his sentencing is until March the 26th. Stupid. I mean, like, you know, Gilbert Arenas to me is uh, one of the fools you see walking down the street, but he just has millions of dollars. So, you know, for, for you to think that all this stuff can happen, and just because you're a high-profile player that you can get past it, Yo, you gotta be kidding me, man. This was a hell of a last six or seven months for Gilbert Arenas. First of all, his fiance got in with the big diesel. <laughs> hey, Shaq was in that money. Then you bring a gun to work. Now you're suspended indefinitely. And you don't know what your future holds, man. Get your stuff together, man. What's wrong with these high profile people? My boy Mike Vick. Under the same kind of circumstance of felony charges. You would have thought since he got 18 months out of the game, almost didn't come back, that we would think, think, stupid, 
Plexico Burst. I can name plenty of more people who got in trouble, man. It's just, it's ignorant. We show our true colors here, people. It's 2010, man. We have to be aware. It's your boy, Uncle L, man. Thanks for thanks for watching. Matter of fact, since this is a new year, let me stop promoting myself. I'm on Twitter.com backslash Darnell underscore Uncle L. Definitely holler at me. Let me know your feedback. Wrapping it up. i see you in a little bit, man, because I know somebody that's going to do something stupid for me to talk about. Peace.